Hey, it's Jim Parr here, and we're going to talk to you about some uh, WordPress security and changing your unique keys and salts and why we would change those in your WP config file. So we're in um, the WP config file, and if you've ever seen these keys, this is what they look like right here. Um, they're just a bunch of numbers and characters, and there is some format to them. Um, but once you generate this key on the back end, um, it uh, creates this encrypted code. Uh, hackers know about this, and they'll go into your, if they get access to your WP file, uh, WP config, they can go in and create a backdoor um, into your site and access your site. Even if you make changes, if you don't change this WP config file, if it's the same one, um, they're going to get in there. And uh, I would recommend doing this every once in a while just to keep your site safe. And I'll show you a couple other techniques. So what you're going to do is get into your cPanel, find your WP uh, config file. Um, you're going to go and edit that file. And so the file looks like this. Uh, you've got your database, name, host, password, uh, whatever. So you're going to find those uh, unique keys and salts. Um, right here is a URL that actually is going to help you create those keys. So what you're going to do is copy and paste that URL into your address bar and it automatically generates this key right away. So um, this is your unique key that you can copy and paste. I recommend that you refresh this a few times um, just so that uh, it doesn't grab the first uh, set of keys that are on there. So we're going to grab this set of keys. We're just going to copy and paste it into our WP config file. So here's this. We're going to highlight this and we're going to hit paste. So we just changed that WP or the uh, unique keys and salts. Second, um, Hackers know about your table prefixes. They always, this is the default uh, table database uh, prefix. WP for WordPress uh, underscore is what uh, WordPress uses as a default prefix. Um, to keep your site secure, um, you'd need to change that. And what I recommend is when you're creating a database and doing a fresh install on a WordPress site, name it something else. Um, like for um, a particular site we did, uh, uh, it was janebreeland.com. We did janebree underscore, and you always want to have this underscore just so that a hacker wouldn't know what that is. So we could actually go and paste that in. Now remember this, you cannot just change this file if your database is showing a prefix of WP. So there is a plugin, uh, there's a few different plugins. Here's one that's been updated one month ago. Um, it's got a few reviews on it. Um, there is other ones out there, but it's a database prefix uh, uh, plugin for your site where you can change the prefix easily on the back end of your WordPress site. So once you change that and you know what that prefix is, just put it in here, go up to your save button right up here, hit save, and, uh, and then uh, you're good to go. And like I said, I recommend uh, changing these keys every once in a while. It recommended once a month. Um, and also have a uh, good WordPress uh, security plugin in play. Um, 
Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below and I'll answer your questions. And remember to subscribe to me because I've got a lot of great videos on different things, uh, whether it's uh, WordPress security uh, to making money online. Um, I'd love to help you out. Thanks a lot.